look ridiculous. Be nervous. That's a Yeah, next, next door. Well trained. Well trained. Nice job. The synergy. Oh, no. Synergy, boys. The rehydration. Good job. You're welcome to live married life. So, they, they've got. <laughs> On behalf of Mindy and I, welcome all of you uh, to the celebration tonight. It is a very special time for us, and uh, you really make it special that everybody came. Um, and I say that sincerely. I know when you're on the other side, it doesn't sound as true, but really, this is just a wonderful night for us, and you guys make it wonderful. Um, I want to... Uh, Laura asked, asked me to start with a prayer, and so I actually wrote one out, and we're going, but I need to read it. I can't uh, try to memorize that, so I apologize. So if you don't uh, join with me in a prayer, Lord, on this wedding day, for Laura and Shelby, we thank you for all that you have given us. We gather here, humbled by your many blessings of physical health, material blessings, and wonderful gathering of the community here today. We ask that you look after Laura and Shelby in the coming years and give them the strength to endure whatever challenges and problems that might come their way. On this wedding day, help us to remember all the people that have passed away and cannot be with us for this celebration, especially Joe and Kathy Crow, my parents, and my very special brother-in-law, Tripp Miller. We miss them tonight and our faith tells us that they are part of our celebration. On this wedding day, we pray that you will give Laura and Shelby the strength that love requires and the joy that it brings. Give them the strength to pursue their most important dreams, and we pray that you will give them the wisdom to ignore the temptations that will distract them from important things in family life. On this wedding day, we pray that you will help them always see the value of hope and optimism. There is evil and despair in the world, and it invites us to give up on the goodness in life. But goodness is also everywhere. This gathering of friends and family is a witness to the goodness and joy in life. Make it a joyous statement of our optimism about the future and the possibilities of their life together. On this wedding day, Lord, make us all part of your message, that we will not give up on each other, that we will continue to express your message of hope, 
no matter how many times we fail, and that we will never concede to despair. On this wedding day, help us to remember the importance of family and the everlasting connection we have together, regardless of where my life may lead us in the future. Amen. Amen. And then everybody, everybody raise a glass. Uh, a toast to the bride and groom. First of all, Shelby, wherever you are, there you are back there. Um, I want you to know that we think you are a caring, competent, loving man, and we are very happy to have you in our family. <laughs> Laura, you know how much your, love, your mother and I love you and how proud of you we are. But I want to say it out loud tonight in front of others that we love you more than seven. And that's, seven is a special number between Laura and I. Um, and then in closing, I'm going to give it the toast that I think that, um, that uh, Laura's uncle, Tripp, would have given, because he would have loved to make a toast tonight. Um, and I think he would have said, remember, Laura, he is your honey. And same to you, Shelby. Um, everyone, please enjoy the evening. And once again, thank you for being here. It's a wonderful night for us. Thank you. First of all, I'm going to explain to you guys how I'm feeling. This is the most nervous I've ever been. <laughs> um, second to this is the day that Shelby asked me to be his best man. Um, uh, it's hard to explain a brother's love. Um, for those of you who have brothers, brothers, it's not hard to explain. It's just, it's innate. Mm. I've thought about this for, I don't know, how many months has it been now? 15 months? So I made multiple voice recordings and notes on my phone. You know, I'm driving in the car. Shelby, just trying to explain Shelby and our relationship and trying to tie it all into Laura. And it's just hard to do. It really is. And uh, I've got a few notes here on my phone. And I just kind of want to, I summed them all up within the last month. And, uh, I guess this is all I have, but, well, I don't want to say I'm underprepared. I've been preparing for 15 months, but, <laughs> um, through all the dead arms, dead legs, and wet willies, you and most of these other guys that were in the bat or in the wedding party, um, have given me over the years, I can honestly say that it is an honor and a blessing to have, to know you as a brother and as a person. Um, you mean a lot to your family and I, and I think I can speak for all of us when I say we are happy that you and Laura found each other. Is it, e it is easy to see the joy you bring to it, one another. Um, I ask you to capture this joy and start your lives together and never let it fade. title for many years now. I, um, I want to start by sharing with you guys a moment that I had with Laura 
at a time in my life when so many things were changing. I had transferred to a new school. My boyfriend just dumped me. <laughs> I was the lead in a play, along with Laura, um, in a role and in a group of friends and in a place that I felt really welcomed and really wanted and I never had that before. And I remember sitting next to Laura's horrible waterbed that I always rolled to the middle of and I hated. And I was sitting next to it. And I remember thinking as I looked at her, I am going to be friends with this girl for the rest of my life. I am not an incredibly spiritual person, but I've had a few moments in my life that have moved me in this way. And they're what I like to call my God moments. Laura was present at my very first God moment. One of the first moments that I knew I was in exactly the right place at exactly the right time with exactly the right person. Here today, I am so happy to say with complete, genuine honesty, that I feel. I am McGinnis, and I am Laura's best friend, and I have had the honor of that title for many years now. I, um, I want to start by sharing with you guys a moment that I had with Laura at a time in my life when so many things were changing. I had transferred to a new school. My boyfriend just dumped me. <laughs> I was the lead in a play, along with Laura, um, in a role and in a group of friends and in a place that I felt really welcomed and really wanted and I never had that before. And I remember sitting next to Laura's horrible waterbed that I always rolled to the middle of and I hated, and I was sitting next to it. And I remember thinking, as I looked at her, I am going to be friends with this girl for the rest of my life. But I've had a few moments in my life that have moved me in this way. And they're what I like to call my God moments. Laura was present at my very first God moment. One of the first moments that I knew I was in exactly the right place at exactly the right time, with exactly the right person. Here today, I am so happy to say with complete, genuine honesty that I feel so similar to that moment watching you on the altar with this man who I have come to love so dearly. I know that you are at the exact right place at the exact right time with the exact right person. Thank you so much, Shelby. As I have been wed three years ago, it's been hard for me to keep up on my duties as Laura's life partner. <laughs> I've had to split my time with my lovely husband, Glenn. And I haven't always been able to be there in the ways that I had hoped. I thank you so much, Shelby, for being someone that I trust. That I trust with someone who was one of the very first loves of my life. My very, very dear best friend. You watching you on the altar with this man who I have come to love so dearly, the exact right place at the exact right time with the exact right person. Thank you so much, Shelby. As I have been wed three years ago, it's been hard for me to keep up on my duties as Laura's life partner. <laughs> I've had to split my time with my lovely husband, Glenn. 
And I haven't always been able to be there in the ways that I had hoped. I thank you so much, Shelby, for being someone that I trust, that I trust with someone who was one of the very first loves of my life, my very, very dear best friend. You've told me that I was the first sister of your life. I have many sisters, four to be exact, and they are very special to me. But Laura, you were the first true friend of my life. You were the first person who accepted me truly, without limitation, without judgment. I truly love you. I'm truly proud of you. And I truly wish you both all the blessings in the world. To Laura and Shelby. All right, guys, how about one more big round of applause for Larry, Wayne, and Diana for the great toast. All right, so the uh, staff here is going to come around with dinner here shortly. I have many sisters, four to be exact, and they are very special to me. But, Laura, you were the first true friend of my life. You were the first person who accepted me truly, without limitation, without judgment. I truly love you. I'm truly proud of you. And I truly wish you both all the blessings in the world. To Laura and Shelby. All right, guys, how about one more big round of applause for Larry, Wayne, and Diana for the great toast. All right, so the uh, staff here is going to come around with dinner here shortly, so enjoy your dinner, and then we're going to move on to the party a little bit later, if that's all right with you. Thank you. So once again, if we can have everyone go ahead and head their seats, we're going to have our first dance here. 
in just a minute. If I can have everyone's attention, please. If I can have everyone's attention. At this time, Laura and Shelby are going to go ahead and have their first dance. So, please direct your attention to the dance floor. And here is your first dance. I have got the world and I listen to it. I have to sit down and I'm not sitting there. 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 Oh, 
might have put in some practice time on that. All right, guys. How about we give a big round of applause for the mother of the groom. Let's give it up for Michelle. And here is your mother Sunday.
Thank you, Michelle. All right. At this time, we're going to go ahead and have our bouquet toss. I know you guys are ready for that. So, ladies, you know the drill. And Laura, grab your bouquet. Let me give you a little motivation, ladies, to come on out. Come on out and participate. All right, ladies, you know the drill, big, big sport. Come on out and join us for the bouquet toss. Right there where you are, ladies. Right over there. Right over there on that side. Bring it together, ladies. Bring it together. <laughs> ladies, right here, left. Scoot on over that way. Scoot on over to your left. Yeah, right there. There you go. All right, are, are we missing anyone that needs to be out here, Laura? We're good? What are we looking for? Call them out by name. I'll call them out. Single ladies, if you're here, we're good. Okay. All right, ladies, are you ready? Here we go. Put those hands up in the air if you're ready. Let's see it. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. And on. Yeah. Very good picks, ladies and gentlemen. All right, thank you, ladies, for participating. We're going to need you for this one. So if we could get Laura back out here. And fellas, gentlemen, we're going to need you out here for our garter toss. Shelby, let me know right here. Don't be shy, it's okay. We've all been there before. We've all been there before. It's nothing wrong with getting a little help you out, fellas. Just trying to help you out. Who, who are we asking for? What's his name? Josh. Josh, we see you. All right. When you're ready for me to start this song, Shelby, just let me know. Hit it. Here we go. All right, hold it up, hold it up. We got to count it down. Here we go. Hey, scoot up a little, Shelby. Scoot up a little bit. There you go. All right. Fellas, are we ready? All right, here we go. Count to three. One, two, three. Lane with the interception. Congratulations, here we go. Thank 
if you've been married for eight hours or less. Please remove yourself from the dance floor. One year or less. Patience. 
One word. There it is. And how about some advice for Laura? Um, I think they are a lovely couple, and I think they'll be a lot better than we are at this age. <laughs> well, after 58 years, you did something right. So, all right. Thank you, Brian and Patty. Thank you guys so much. 58 years. Wow. I bet one way they accomplished that was dancing a lot. So that's a good start. So we're going to party for the rest of the night. I know that Laura and Shelby would love it if you stayed. Had a great time for the rest of the night. So I'll be quiet now. You guys have a great time. I know you
The way you brought me all the time. Shelby, for you, I would I would wreck possible, and for Laura Chippendales, you know, just getting your guy your guy business on in your face, like just 
Just do the worst things possible. Look, well, yeah. Harry, Harry Spielmeyer has Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, how does that help the relationship? Uh, that, that just makes it more sexual. <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm at <laughs> Give me some more questions, Tim. What else do you want to know? Uh, what do you think about Look who I finally met! How did it go? Um, it, it went really I well. Um, Shelby, he, I know, in the I know, second I'm inning, so you know, he just, he just he really pulled forever. through. <laughs> Pulled through. How did he do? Like, how did he use the gut of the order? Is that the well, he didn't get it back around till the seventh, so it's a pretty shitty game for Shelby. But he, uh, he, uh, <laughs> Yost butted in the eighth. <laughs> Yost butted. Whoa, you gotta bring up Yost. <laughs> you gotta bring up Yost. <laughs> yeah. so, it's a Yost season. So the interview I got. Adam right, G. Right, right, right. Well, we gotta switch on, the camera now. All right, just look at me. Don't worry about the camera. Just say whatever comes All right. Lauren Shelby, it's it's great to be here on your happy day. And I've been waiting for this for where well, you've been engaged for like four years. And it finally happened. And, of course, it happened on a playoff day when the Cardinals are playing. Because, oh, the Royals fan has to make me miss my game. Fault. But you're married now. So, like, all the burden is now on your shoulders and you can see it in the wedding shelby's completely leaning over just the weight of the marriage holding on him so you're there and everyone's happy for you and now that you're married you finally get to do it turkey style <laughs> gobble 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 for those of you who don't watch downtown abbey that's in the butt so happy wedding but i'm sorry Laura, because that's going to be kind of have fun with all that glad to be a part of it but you guys are the best a D A M T. Woo! I don't know what that is. But Easy, Rick Flair. First, first question is how long is your wiener? All right, well, uh, it's how great to. Is your wiener? My wiener is Shelby. You've seen it. You know, <laughs> Laura. You can just guess. Shelby might show you or something, but anyways, it's great to be here. Happy to be a groomsman in your wedding. I met you guys, or. I was there the you night you guys happy? met. I have an important question. Are you happier to be a groomsman or are you happier for the bar with free drinks? All right, all right. You know what? You know how many Jim Beams I fucking had tonight? <laughs> fucking keep them coming. But congratulations on the wedding. Like I said, let's go back to Posse's and Randolph. And we were there and you guys met. I think you did tell me that you liked her, but whatever. Brooklyn? Broccoli. Broccoli? <laughs> You're a bachelor. That was a little weird. <laughs> it took a weird turn. It took a weird turn at that point. It took a weird turn. Not net, not for Shelby, Laura. No, get your panties in a one. There was broccoli in the butt, but not his. His butt. I think it was a bachelorette. Oh, she had some big old. Anyways, at Posse's, I was there. Congratulations. This will be the last time you see me. I've got Ebola. <laughs> I don't. All right. Are you ready? I got it. You ready? Just look at me. Don't worry about the camera. What, just say what, what do you want to say. I want to say that I'm, I'm proud to have Laura as a new sister. You are? Why are you proud to have Laura as a new sister? She's nice. She's good to Shelby. And Shelby really loves her. What was your favorite part of night? Um, all the coke I had. Fair enough. I pooped out on the dance. Almost, oh, I almost dropped dead on the dance. How did you almost drop dead on the dance? I got tired and almost passed out. Tell me the last story. I was dancing to, I don't know what the was dancing, and Elizabeth, like, I almost fell back with Elizabeth. Um, grabbed my back with her hand and said, go to the couch. So, so I went to the couch and fell asleep, and that's all I remember. That's all right, that's all right. What else, do you have anything else you'd like to add? 
I want to congratulate them. Congratulate them because I know their love is pure. There you go. That's well said. That's well said. All right. You're on. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Laura. This has been great. You know, I danced really hard. Really hard. Everyone did, I feel like. Dance my face off. Congrats. I, I came here with a full outfit and I'm leaving with about 60% of my pants. Now, what happened to Sir? Well, I did some of the. I did some splits and, you know, double entendre because split my pants too. So, what is the double entendre? Oh, because I love you guys. So, enjoy this. Enjoy this thigh. This is about as much as you're going to get. Maybe it's more about. Peace out. Uh, congrats. I'm really happy for you guys. That's all you got. Uh, how was your day today? The day's been great. What did you do today? Uh, Shelby! Come here! What are we talking about here? You. Anything. Talk about your day today. Oh, unbelievable. What did you do today? I got married. Yeah. Well, I think we knocked it out of the park. No, but it was it was yeah. the night that uh, we were 100%. not party. 100%. Yeah. You remember this? Oh, uh, no. Back to me. Well, Shelby and Laura, I'm happy to be here. I hate
round of applause for Shelby and Laura. Come on, guys, let's hear it. Come on. Let's give them a big round of applause. For the great reception. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for ev everyone for staying and partying with us. Hope you guys had a great time tonight. I know, like I said, Laura and Shelby appreciate you guys staying and partying. Record. Yeah, he is now. Smoke dude. Oh. Uh, arrest him. He's a thief and a communist. <laughs> no. I only have like five minutes. Oh, look at that. Second Bentley? Hey, bud. Bye, love. Shelby, you have a hit man. Send off 2.0. Second one. Got it. And the one on the back of the deck. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I knew how to make this thing have a flat. Wedding 2012. Root for the Chiefs tomorrow. Yeah, and the Royals. Go Royals. Right, right. Go Royals. You got The best night. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, mommy. And, and I have your bag. And we'll have them send it to your room. Okay. Okay? okay. After you drive around for a while. Okay. Okay. Bye, Shelby. Bye, Mindy. See you guys. I love you guys. Love you, too. We love you. I love you, Mom. Mom, Mom, this was amazing. Laura, right, you made it amazing. You guys made it amazing. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Yeah. Um, Bye, really guys. Hope. Love you. Love you. I love you. Bye, guys. Have fun. I love you. Wonderful. Yeah, I love you, too. Emilia, love you. Can we power break this thing on the way out of here? <laughs> or what? Oh, my. I love you so much.